So we got this video on Andrew Tate talking about how to realize a gold digger. And I feel like there are three red flags to know when you mess with a gold digger. And every man should know that. When she only looking for money and something to eat, when she doesn't even remember anything about you, and if she sees you as like a tool, you know what I'm saying? Like she only wants you for your money. And I guess that goes like hand to hand with the first one, but like, let's see what he says about it. I feel like those are gonna pop up here. Maybe, maybe not, but let's just see. How do you tell whether a girl is a gold digger or just wants a nice lifestyle? It's a good question. But um, I, don't, I don't see why men are scared of gold diggers because they can't get gold unless you give it to them. Mm. You must be a total bitch to like accidentally get gold dug. Mm. Buy me this. No, fuck off. Mm. <laughs> well, you must be a dummy. Yeah. And then also- Well, a lot of guys aren't strong enough to say no, are they? Because maybe that girl is a little out of their league, shall yeah. we say? Yeah, yeah. So that's why it's, it's not a no. That's another thing. And it's a gray on. area. Hold right? on, before because we I'll... even get started, I'm sorry, I'm not going to be pausing in like every five seconds. But like, you know there's like one one man to every five females in the world. So why, why are y'all so afraid to like get rejected? Why are y'all so afraid to like, you know what I'm saying, lose that chance with one girl? I, I don't get it. I really don't. Also, I don't think there's anything wrong with a woman expecting a nice, nice lifestyle. I think it's all relative, right? If you're a normal person, or even a normal couple, a woman still wants her man to provide and protect and, and work and pay for the house and the family. Women expect you to provide and protect. It's evolutionary. That's how we're designed to be. So I don't think a woman expecting a lifestyle from a man is a bad thing. If I was a woman, I would expect a lifestyle. That's for sure. Mm. And depending on your man's lifestyle depends on the kind of lifestyle you mm. expect. And then it gets into a blurred line of people say, well, she's just with you for money. Okay. I'm like, well, if she's just with me because I take care of her problems and I make her feel happy and I make uh, all her stress and anxiety. That's just being a man for real. Fun with me. You're saying that with me for money. I'm saying she genuinely likes me because. Mm. That's what I provide. Because I provide. So all those things end up with her having genuine See? emotion for you. Mm. So unless it's like a straight mm. transaction. I hold my like thoughts. Like a day rate. Mm. Unless it's like a straight transaction. What happens is if you take care of a woman, people say she's gold digging, but if you take care of her, she'll genuinely love you because you're genuinely the person who gives her nice things and mm. takes care of her and makes her smile, makes her problems go away. And then, and then you look at it in the inverse. If she's with me only because of my competence and my money and my capability to bend the world and my power, you're calling that gold digging. I call that genuine attraction. You look at it the other way around and I'm with her because she's happy and makes me smile and she's gorgeous. Am I just with her for her looks or am I, do I, am I genuinely attracted to her? So and there, attractions we go. there we go. Look, see, I like how he put that into perspective. Like people say gold digging is like a girl that just wants you for your money. But like, they don't like guys that don't have money. And that, in that retrospect, you have to have money for that girl to want you. So like, she don't want no brokey. <laughs> I, I'm using his words, but like, she don't want no brokey because like, you know what I'm saying? Making money is a minor staple. You want to have money so you can look better, feel better, be better. You know what I'm saying? So when you get to that point, females are going to be attracted to that mindset, that way of living, that way of life. I get what it. I understand. Lines. It's hard to draw where pure gold I can relate. is. Gold digging is, hi, buy me this. I don't even like you. I'm not sleeping with you. Get me this. There you go. That's what I was then, talking about my first topics. Mm. Mm. So, so that's the red flag you would look for to determine the difference between the but, two. But, but women aren't stupid. Women are actually, mm. listen up, Shanti. <laughs> women are smart. Women have instinct. Women are very instinctual creatures. I, I believe in women's instinct. I, I, in fact, I believe to, to the point, like three of my PAs are female. And I've had them say, I got a bad feeling. Don't, don't, don't race the cars around today. Stay home. Mm. I'll, listen, I'll stay home. I'll listen to them. So I truly believe in female instinct. Women understand things very well. And there's not a woman alive who's stupid enough to see a man like me and meet a man like me and go, I can get money out of him and I don't like him. Like I, you have to give that vibe off to get gold dug. Like I'm not a dummy. I saw one of your comments or questions from Piers Morgan about um, saying to your wife or girlfriend, you know, I don't want you to go out tonight. Yeah. Um, and I was actually quite irate at Piers really because I did come down on your side of it because if you're the guy to protect your wife strike stroke girlfriend hold on, bro. Hold and on, you've hold given on. her the advice. We ain't skipping that, bro. We, ain't, we are not skipping that. What's that on, bro? Lip. Why that? What is that? It's like, bro, I got some, like, tape right there that you just sh off, or is that a scab? Because if that's a scab, don't touch that mic. Bro, what is that? Maybe it's, like, the way his lip is, like, because his other side looks straight different. 
Uh, just don't go out. You're going to get raped or whatever. If I told my girlfriend not to do something, she wouldn't do it. Well, it, this is the thing. It's We're living in this world now where they're going to try and pretend the authority and responsibility are not linked. If I have authority over something or I have responsibility for something, then I need to have authority for it. If I have responsibility for, let me try and choose something that won't upset the fucking shame. I think it's the authority, it's, isn't it? When you but say when you that, that, that word, it's because it's semantics and they're slave that's nasty. Mind. But let's take it, let's take something very simple. Let's take a, a, a car, right? If I'm responsible for that car, means if I park it somewhere and it's not supposed to be parked, I am punished because I am responsible for that vehicle. Yeah. Then I must have the authority over that vehicle to be able to move it, to be able to sell it, keep it. I must have authority over it. You can't come along to me and say, you're responsible for this, but you can't move it and you can't influence it. Mm -hmm. You cannot have responsibility of something you do not have authority for. The captain of a ship, the reason he's responsible for the ship and he has to go down with the ship is because he has authority on the ship. Everything that happens on the ship is because of him. If he gives orders and everyone ignores him, then he has no authority, which means he's not responsible for the outcome, which means mm. he, doesn't, he doesn't go down with the boat. So trying to de-link responsibility and authority is ridiculous. If I am responsible for a woman's safety, that I must have authority to make decisions regarding her safety because I'm responsible for it. I think the issue comes when you relate it to a car and it's like, that's an object. And then what they else? see the, the, the woman well, being an else, object. But what else can I relate it to? Yeah, no, that, that's fair enough. But I think that's where they're getting like the whole, like, oh, I own that that's person yeah, and it's yeah, a sovereign completely. individual. Yeah, the but it's her choice to listen, isn't it? You're well, not, you're yeah, not that, that authority it. is given. So It's a given. Yeah. Mm. The, the slave mind has a mental breakdown because of the analogy I used, but they completely mm. missed the point. Mm. But yeah, the authority is given. If she were to sit and say to me, I am i don't want to listen to you. You have no authority mm. over me. I'd say, that's fine. Then I have no responsibility mm. for your mm. safety. Enjoy your nice long walk in the middle of the night. <laughs> if something bad happens to you, you don't call me. Because there's nothing to do with me. But if she were to say, no, Anne, Andrew, you're keeping me safe. I'll say, okay, then you're not going out. So it's a decision for her to make. It's not a matter of coming along and being a slave master. It's just understanding in the universe, whether it's a relationship, whether it's a car, whether it's anything, there's authority and responsibility and they go hand in hand and trying to decouple them, mm. which is what they're trying to do in the modern world and to say that you're responsible for everything, but you have no authority over anything. That's clown world. And that's what they're trying to slap on men now, especially in relationships and everything. You're responsible for everything, but you have no authority over any of it. Well, then how can I be responsible for something I can't influence? Mm. You know what? It's clown world. And this you know is what I see? You know what I see? I see it for some reason this last year or two. Whenever Andrew Tate is like interviewed by somebody, they seem to ask him questions that like anybody can answer. But I feel like they're trying to, they're trying to just like trap him or something because like these are questions that like people already answered. People already know the answer to. Or like, don't even care about. They just want to. They just want to make him sound wrong and stuff like this. They, there's grown men that all should know the answer to like how, what a girl, what a gold digger is or something. But they coming at him because like the way that he is, and they trying to make him misogynist. I can just see the colors in the paint, and it's crazy. But hey, I do not know what to watch next, and I'm hoping that you should like, you know. Bring me some videos down below. Because if you like this one, you might like the next one that I'm about to watch. So, yeah. Till next time. I can be that nigga that they don't want to feed. And my heart is full of hate, so I don't need no pop.